Two men have been arrested in South Wales over Friday's terror attack on a London underground train, bringing the total number held to five. A 48-year-old man and a 30-year-old man were detained under the Terrorism Act in the early hours after a search at an address in Newport. Police are still searching there and at a second address in Newport. 30 people were injured when a homemade bomb partially exploded on a rush hour train at Parsons Green. The other arrests so far were of Commander Dean Hayden, head of the Metropolitan Police Counter Terrorism Command, said, This continues to be a fast moving investigation. A significant amount of activity has taken place since the attack on Friday. Detectives are carrying out extensive inquiries to determine the full facts behind the attack. Further searches are continuing at two addresses in Surrey and are expected to last some days, the police said. The 18-year-old arrested man is thought to have lived in a foster home owned by Ronald and Penelope Jones in Sunbury on Thames, Surrey. He is thought to have moved to the UK from Iraq aged 15 when his parents died. BBC has learned that he had been referred to an anti extremist program before his arrest. It is not known who made the referral and when or how serious the concerns were. The 21 year old man, also arrested on Saturday, is believed to be Syrian born Yahya Farrakh. Mr. Farrakh worked at Aladdin's chicken shop in Hounslow and has been described as a former foster child who had lived in the Jones house. Mr. Farrakh posted a picture on his Instagram page in May this year with a suitcase on Cavendish Road, Sunbury, almost directly outside the Jones house. At 8.20 BST on Friday a homemade bomb, which was transported in a little bag, partially exploded in a tube train at Parsons Green Station, causing burns to a number of victims.